Welcome back to the channel. I'm King Abad, and in today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. <laughs> uh, we've been fucking our people up, low key. Damn it. I'm not getting monetized, anyways. Anyways, we've been fucking our people up, low key. Because we got these two with scars, and we just got him back off the scar and her back off the scar. So, we're setting records here for the scars. And we just got blue blood off of the scar, too, actually. And I almost put him into that, but I wanted to train him he has a quick reload thing here now is there anyone else who i want to do star and no, i want to do this one can she do this she can all right so while she's here i'm gonna have her do that and we have training we have spec ops and we have our assemblies going we can do an improved spec ops which i think i'm gonna do because that's usually better for us anyways or i can do the mat i'll do the improved spec ops and then i'll do the master crafted armor if i remember to switch over to doing that but for now we have to figure out which of these things we're finna do our money is looking okay for now we are finna spend about half of that buying the new shotguns and then our illyrium isn't too bad because i know at that point you really don't need to get any more and our intel is pretty low but we did just dump it into a bunch of uh security not security into uh field teams i think the best thing for us to do here is try and get which one has the highest unrest this will bring it down by two but that'll put that one at four and that one at three but if i don't do this one it's gonna go to five so i have to do this one unless i want to get more of the build more city anarchy it's only one project one projected encounter one door and apollo did end up helping us last time so maybe i should go ahead and kit my kid him out but i give him some, damn i got two of these oh you can get one of these too this one uh blah, blah blah grants running gun ability and this one grants rapid fire i think running gun's gonna work better for you without godmother on the team and then the rapid fire is gonna work better for you we don't have any weapons attachments to put on him we can't give him extra padding and he should have the breach charge i can't remember why he has some special effect with them let's see uh it's the claymore Concussive charge. Claymore detonates a powerful charge, rupturing all enemies near the breach point. Usable on wall breach points. Uh, so yeah, it ruptures enemies near this breach point. And you can get the tracers, which is going to be helpful too for that rapid fire. Because I can't remember if there's an aim penalty with it. But either way, I can take these off of you also because you're not going to be shooting as much. But either way, it will help with aim. Can't remember there's an aim penalty for the rapid fire. I don't know if I said finish that sentence, but it's finished now. You have the hazmat, you have extra padding, extra padding, and you have the healing. All right, let's get into this mission. Spotted the contraband. Recover as able. enemies deal one less damage during the breach or all units entering here get plus three mobility for one round uh definitely want to go through here with the uh minus damage to, at the breach point especially with it saying that damage is likely now we'll give her the scan then claymore can go next and shelter can come last keep behind me I need to take that ceasefire bomb away from Axiom since he does lead through breach points uh, if there's a doorway. So if someone else has it, they'll be able to use that. Uh, especially when we have Patrick on the team because her ability can be used uh, from anywhere. She doesn't have to be the second one to go in to use that uh, Gremlin scan ability. Get them out of the turn order. We don't need any guardians in here. If we land this shot, we should break it. No, we have to roll max for it to break. We rolled max and critted, so that works out. Uh, Palmer is alert. I was hoping that wasn't another guardian. This is our only. This is our only encounter. So I try and dazzle him, and I'm trying to put it in the middle of the room just to see if anyone else gets uh disoriented as well. Looks like we got quite a few of them too. We got the bomber. We got the Ronin. We got that cobra up there i don't think you can disorientate the uh androids but he might have been if he uh if he was able to be now 
adds an extra action after dashing. Running gun can Okay, so. So ready for this. Who's gonna come first in the turn? Turn order. We'll dash him up to here, and then he will have one more ability after that. So you can either shoot again, or you can use smash or something like that. So he can't move, but he can still shoot. So I didn't put him in the best position here, because I was thinking he was going to be able to use smash right after that. That is a movement, technically, so I guess it does make sense on how we can't use it. Still doesn't matter. We took out the thing that I planned for him to take out anyways. I was going to try and smash the, the android. But now at this point, she doesn't have anything that she needs to uh, to try and hack. So she can do this on them. The chaining jolts on the Ronin. This way we can try Find to... What? Why is there an aura around shelter? This way we can try and disorientate them. I was trying to stun them. That way we, they, they wouldn't get their turn at all. But he has an aura right now. I can't remember what that was. He did get a um, promotion recently. What is this? I think that no, this is Claymore, so it doesn't matter. Uh can't get this quite far enough to not hit him. Oops. Move up to here. Oh no, actually, should I just drop this on them? I think I should. Because the the bomber has extra padding. Or explosives. So let's go for the coat no can't see the cobra from here let's go for the bomber hopefully the bomber will move closer to the ronin that way the ronin will be closer to death yep target hit deflected off Traded the armor. his armor but he has resistance to explosive damage Eradicated. that's now yeah i know i didn't leave him in a good spot also didn't do anything to save him from that spot i guess i could well not even i guess i definitely could have just um He's gonna die anyways. Uh, the Cobra is next if I don't do anything about it. But I've used Soul Fire on the. Oh, we can't see it either. Well, we've used Soul Fire. Huh? I wanna move up. I'm gonna move down to here. I need to figure out. Oh, Solus. Shelter is surrounded by an aura that immediately. That immediately extinguishes or blocks any mental impairments for themselves and any nearby allies. So, if this aura is always active, that means if, let's say, Axiom was stunned right now and I got closer to him, it looks like if uh, it would have cleared that stun off of him when I got to him. Now, where's this Cobra? This will also push them down in that turn order, which is why I wanted to make sure I hit the Cobra. And this will give us quite a few turns back to back to deal with the Cobra and the Bomber at the same time. Acquire. Oh, I forgot that to do that. Uh, 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 oh. I can dash Axiom up to here to acquire this thing. And then I can use Team Up with Patchwork to get him able to move somewhere else. So we do have to escape. Uh, we don't have a relocation disc right now. Who's up next? It's gonna be you next, but we can take you out right now. Zapping the target. Looks like it hurt. So now the only one left. The only thing left to do now is really bring Axiom back in. I should have killed him on his turn too because he does have the ability to do that for himself. Can I get this to damage you? Because you moved right back. Oh, wait. I saw the flash force. There it is. That's why playing on PC is a little bit better. I talked about this when I first started playing the first playthrough. It like lets you line up and find the exact spot. Even if it's barely there, you can still find it. Let me use team up on Axiom. Because otherwise, he won't be able to go until after the uh, reinforcements come in and then with you we can overwatch this door so if anything approaches from this angle claymore's watching that and i just want to dash him back uh, i want to heal him first i 
I'm gonna dash him all the way back to here as far as it can go and still be in cover this way he should be pretty safe from uh anything else that happens now the bomber is going to get their turn this time because i didn't do anything about it also that explosion is going to go off after their turn so also wasn't the best move there keep going you can do this i didn't realize his rank was that far he still missed that doesn't matter i've done worse yeah yes you have done worse shelter you caught out a miss um and we don't we don't want those I can get I can get him straight out of here which I'm gonna do so I want to start moving our people out now so we don't start taking damage unnecessarily if you have it I was gonna try and throw it well I should have threw the grenade first and then moved grenades don't take a turn and action to throw and who's next number two just take the number two guy out actually let's try to reprogram first because we can reprogram this and we make it which we did and we'll have him on our team and he won't be able to do anything against us and then i'll go for the shock on the commando which will kill him either way so he's going to be out of the turn order that means that patrick is going to be here for one turn longer which means she might have to deal with this commando and that bomber shouldn't do too much to her by herself and just to try and uh curb anything i'm gonna drop this over here that's gonna blow up before that turns so put this i don't think i can get it to deal damage to him which would have been nice if that way she only had to deal with one uh enemy's turn but oh i could have used rapid fire and tried to hit that i don't oh, i was only a 41 percent chance to hit anyway so i probably wouldn't have done that finding a better spot You can go ahead and leave claymore so far we have claymore who hasn't taken any damage actually i don't care about you keep moving in such a way to try and keep them safe i want to get to an angle where you don't have cover so where the the bomber didn't have cover from the android so now we can move over to here and we should have a clear shot on them I think that's still about the same chance. We could get Axiom out of here now too. Or I can move him up here. I move him right here and put him into Overwatch. That might be helpful. that's if that thing gets close enough so i don't think it's gonna be i th don't think it's gonna matter either way because that thing should die on its turn with the explosion going off i don't think it reduces it to two i think it reduces it by an amount but he's already taken a bunch of damage anyways no it bro drops it to two we go. and it looks like if i had overwatch then axiom would have been able to shoot the commando anyways what are you doing oh you're using just that all right that's fine that means she's only going to take a shot from one person if they even shoot. But he went for the android. So that all worked out then. That's why I moved the android down too to hopefully draw that shot away from uh, Patrick. That way she can still leave without taking a bunch of damage, which will reduce our chances of getting a scar I'm overall. Moving. So I think I played that right. And you can just evac. That android's going to blow up anyway. So yeah, we had two unharmed. The data... The data pods held highly sensitive data about the city's rebuilding plans. Thankfully, the hostiles weren't able to weren't able to crack them. We get we don't we haven't been taking as many um, hostages, which is probably why we don't get as much intel as we did in the first playthrough, where I bought the trank rounds for everybody. This time, I'm not using pretty much any of them at all for anybody. Is that make the building blocks for the new world, whether it's the terror crit home essentials to rapid to rapid construction vertical farm enclosures for the extraterrestrial crops or the revolutionary android constructed exclu android constructed exclusively in city 31 come see the future we're building for our community and soon for yours city 31 tours council all right so we have enhanced shotguns available to us now 
we get this this talking point quite a bit i guess i could talk over it because i can just turn it down on my mixer now but uh yeah i'm tired of hearing that one i think i ended an episode with it once i think because i still haven't edited that episode but investigate strange device or i can go for money or i can go for illyrium right now what we're researching doesn't take illyrium so i'll have another chance to gain enough uh illyrium then So I'm going to go for the money instead, especially since I know I'm finna I just spent some of the money too. Let me make sure everything is ready. So she's researching that she's doing the crisis management and he is in his training still. All right. It's in the APC here. Uh, we managed to locate and safely recover the informant without blowing their cover. Do MPD is extremely grateful. All right. All right. We can't bring down the unrest. Just oh, that it's gonna have to be this one. Can I build a new field team on there? I have 145 intel. Well, not build, but upgrade this field team. That way, it'll bring down the unrest in this district by three instead of just two. And I still have six days towards that in, or on that investigation. This will give us one free field team and 20 Illyrium. And this is gonna give us advanced expanded magazine. This is going to be better then. And this one's going to be more is more urgent too, because we don't want to, this one to hit five. We want to bring it down to as low as we can. We can freeze this district. That way it won't go up either. And that'll bring our management pretty good. The switch yard and the fringe are both looking pretty shitty, but also I'm pretty sure they were described as the shittiest parts of this town anyways, uh, besides old town. Yeah. Let's see if we can finish this. Is this two encounters? Yeah. Okay. I should be able to finish this mission before the episode gets too long. And did I get anything new? I don't think so. So we're already ready to go then, since we got no new equipment. It, the auto, they, automa uh, they, they automatically get the enhanced shotguns because we pretty much sell the old ones Friendly to get the new VIP ones, I assume. Check your fire. But either way, I've never had to manually do that, so hopefully it just did it. Uh, first unit of engines will be rooted for one turn and helping last unit of those engines will receive an extra action. I'll have Axiom lead through again. I forgot to change the ceasefire thing. That was what happened. Claymore and then I'll bring shelter last. Yeah, this little aura is pretty cool too, but I assume it gets annoying when you're in the bunkers and all that or the barracks because now you just have this purple. Well, I guess you can't sneak up on anybody. Like if, he, if he's trying to scare you, there's, he has no chance to. Not unless he just teleports you to wherever he is out of nowhere, but it seems like it's not that big of a nuisance his teleportation. That was weird. He got like right up in their face to shoot. I'm gonna say that counts though. I'm fine with that. The guardian should go next. It's always Axiom. Axiom's always the one who's glitching out. I need to stop bringing him on the team. Although this is the last time I'll be playing this for everybody. This is our first. We have still that's Ronin, Purifier, Turret, Bruiser, Cobra. Let's go for the well, let's just try and break the turret then. He has these two, which I didn't notice at first. So he doesn't seem like he was born with his psionic abilities. That are these these things are that 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 but ba ba. The things that are on the back of his head are to help him harness those abilities. We did manage to panic somebody in here. Go ahead and psych up. But we need to remember that Shelter has a bonus action on this turn, so I can dash him and then shoot. Axiom can move all the way up to here. And using psych up as the first move never takes an action, so that's also a positive thing to, that we have going with him. No, number five is fine for now. We're going to go for the number two, dude. Especially just because I don't like Ronin in general. They move around too much. Oh, they get a lot done. Boring. It's like it's like a better version I of Zephyr because to make it even, that's uh, boost the abilities of the enemy. Otherwise, for some people, this game would never be an issue. It's a shame what's going to happen to this tree, I think. Who's next after the the bruiser would be next? So I'll drop the acid here. It, it won't be a problem for Axiom. Only one acid burn, but it's gonna keep eating through it them. 
and then next i don't think uh, i can just take a shot at the uh still has this has us as if we're playing axiom 2 right now hopefully we don't get his aim or anything like that you had a shot on it's hurry but for now you don't so i guess that's fine i just have to deal with that anyways we'll go for the purifier then and they're immune to poison i don't know why i assume they have a hazmat seal on actually which would make sense to oh okay the search is in a terrible position for even itself i could reprogram this or i could just shock it not the number two i'm banking on that panic still taking effect it usually takes effect for more than one turn you can see this i want you to damn both of these things only at one health if i had the extended range for the jump i might have been able to shock this cobra and then jump and kill both of them but i think i want to go ahead and try and take both of these out at the same time so hit the turret with it just because the turret is going to take more damage she has double kills all over the place and they kill they still talk down on her uh stuff they're panicked but are they gonna get their turn still no they aren't I need to give him a grenade too because he has an ability where he can use a grenade at each he carries more grenades basically he'll carry as many grenades as there are encounters on you I have a present for you usually they fall back towards their teammates so we'll see if this person gets all the way there they did and did they land in acid doesn't look like they did but they did move i don't know if they moved close enough to that for it to deal damage to him i don't think it's gonna matter because you just got smacked with psionic so all right Let's see all units entering here get plus 25 defense enemies are harder to hit through here enemies deal minus one damage during the breach again we'll have axiom lead through with his rage bank higher too we might have a higher chance of getting more or well, not a higher chance but we might get more people panicked no one was injured in that last one so we have no one to heal so we'll just go for another scan and that's it all right you might be able to kill them but you have a almost you have no chance of missing them either way we might need a second shot i'd rather do this one and know that they're gonna die with the second shot instead of risk it with that one and maybe needing two or three more shots you have a 100 percent chance there and an 85 there go for the 100 and we're just gonna have to deal with your 88 percent chance they did get a shot off i should have checked to see if dazzle does damage because i can't remember if it does oh the panic was removed off of them they managed to enter their i think like melee stance or whatever it's called where they're gonna get a bunch of turns pretty quick after each other now, is there any way that Axum can use Smash and get into the range of this VIP? Doesn't maybe from here? No, no, I had to check the angles on that. Could use running gun and dash over to save them now. Actually, for now, they're gonna be safer than if I had dash to get them because they won't attack the VIP until we actually get them ourselves who's first in the turn order and what can we do to them who do we have the best chances of hitting they're gonna die on the turn from the poison anyways so i go for this commando here i was hoping that since this dude is no longer Excellent. this one right here this is just this civilian i was hoping that he would uh leave that way he'd be safe Your although i don't think they're gonna attack him anyways so weapons is faulty as if he had hit already or missed and he's moving further into our range all right let's see what patchwork can see from here we could shock them we could shock them i didn't see this andromeda back there at first they're gonna die on their turn 
and we're gonna try and take out the number two we'll let's go for the number two dude so we can stun him that means we only have to deal with the ronin's next turn yep so now they're stunned and we'll see what this ronin does okay and she's rupturing that too so it's gonna take more damage during the throughout this encounter not this encounter but this phase he needs to reload which is not what i wanted to see i can drop this right here it's gonna go off before either of their turns so it's gonna kill the number nine and deal a decent amount of damage to the number six and then we'll have you reload ammunition topped off they died on their turn and this ronin is really the only one who's doing stuff Wound. We're here if you need us. And I was hoping. Oh, if he doesn't move, he's just gonna get hit. That's tragic. But I was hoping that he would have his shots ready. That way he can just step around the corner and then use rapid fire in the face of the enemy. Now it's the Andromeda's turn. I don't think the Andromeda's gonna be able to get anywhere. I don't think anyone's in this doorway either. He shouldn't be able to see Claymore, so it's kind of bullshit. I was even going for the shot. Interesting. That just moved through the wall, I guess. Can we relocate with the girl? We could. Switching. Well, that doesn't secure her. I can use subdue right here. Go for the high roll. Subdue yep. The target. Uh, you cannot move You can shoot You can also heal whoever's next to you No one necessarily well, you need to be healed kind of so I'll heal yourself Instructions aren't so good. I think no. Oh, well, at least he said the instructions weren't good I just clicked the wrong person there. I wasn't even the game or anything. I think it looked like the first one was aimed at Axiom. So you can step over to here, but and secure the scientist. Now, where do we need to evac to? They can get straight out, actually. And evac. And then I'll use team up on shelter. Not, not Axiom, on shelter. That way he can start moving towards the exit again also because he's way out there right now you take the ronin out too the hostiles. i should have just shot him Painful. maybe that's why too i think she has the trank rounds and she shoots the least by far where can we get to that's safe with the dash Actually, I'll use Soul Fire on you to push you back in the turn order. Did I do something else on his turn? I feel like I didn't. Anyways, where's this gonna go off for them? And then you can get out of here. We really left shelter all all in the open though. Not that. It's not showing me where his ammo is either. So I'm just gonna take him out. He's definitely glitching out quite a bit. But I want to show what his last uh promotion gets. And I've seen it personally, but it is pretty cool. Heading out. Go towards the Andromeda. Go for a reprogram here. We have a 91% chance to do it, which Nothing we did. Hardware. Looks like it hurts. Which means that we can do something similar to what we did last time where we moved the uh he should stay hacked. Where we moved the android into the in between where who was it? It was between Axiom and the bomber. Or the bomber was between the two of oh shit, it doesn't hold. But it had action between the two of them. 
Okay, he missed. Still too close. I don't know why that regen health. It's going for a swing. It also missed. Okay. But at this point, I don't really care what this dude does. Almost got me. Have you? Can you teleport with that uh civilian? That would have been nice. Kind of shitty for the civilian, but I mean like. The mission objective would have been completed even if we didn't. He should have an angle to shoot. No, he shouldn't have an angle to shoot, actually. Cool. I don't know why Shelter is evading so much stuff. I'm not complaining at all. If this man ends the mission. He's gonna end the mission without taking any damage. He dodged five shots. Five shots. Yeah, get get the, get out of here. Your luck is running thin as shit. Nah, -uh. but that didn't go too long. Uh, too much longer than I would usually go at least. I'm trying to bring the the length of the videos down in this new little section of stuff that I'm doing. Construction workers supplemented by an android labor built with Nova Heights from the ground up in two short years. Integrated vertical farms, essential services, and autonomous power, and autonomously powered, the crown jewel of City 31 gives a glimpse of what future city centers can be. Application for non City 31 residents available by late for 2041. City 31 Tourism Council. And it looks like our unrest so far has been pretty good too. Ooh. Well, we just did save the game, so I can decide on this stuff in the next one. So that's gonna be all for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm King of Baden. Uh, you can follow all my other socials in the description down below. Uh, that's that's all the stuff that I think I need to talk about. So.